Hey, this is Michael Coyne, and I'm on assignment in Bangkok, Thailand. I've been photographing kickboxing, I've been photographing people in Lumpini Park, which is where people go to exercise. So it's an assignment about keeping fit in the City of Angels. When I work on an assignment, I walk a lot. I walk all day. I try not to take much public transport. I try to walk around because I like to see what's going on. So having light equipment is very important for me. If I've got two camera bodies and two lenses, that's a lot to carry. While I was photographing the kickboxing, I had to be very careful to keep out of the way of the boxers because they're training to, for fights. They're, they're professional boxers and some of them are very well known. So they don't want me in the way while they're training. So you carefully keep out of the way. The camera that I was using, the XE1, was very quiet. So they didn't take much notice of me photographing. And even though I had on a wide lens, I managed to get in very close to them. But I watched all of the time what they were doing so I could step back. Before I climbed in the ring when they were training, I watched where they were going, how they went about their training, and then I climbed into the ring and kept out of their way, but getting close enough to get photographs that were interesting. But all of the time watching because they are the important part, not me. When I photograph close-ups of people, portraits, sometimes I see them sitting there in beautiful light, so I go across and shoot a picture. But sometimes they look really nice, but the lighting's not quite right. So I might ask them to move their head, twist their body a little bit, or just move their eyes. When you photograph a portrait, it's the eyes that are very important. People look into the eyes. So Watch where the eyes go, which direction the eyes go, whether they're open, whether they're closed, looking down, looking to the left, looking to the right. Watch what happens to the eyes, because when the viewer looks at your photograph, it's the eyes that they're going to notice first in your portraits. The lighting was very difficult. One minute we're in the dark, next minute we're in the brightness, and then we're in the shade. So it was very hard, but using the XE1's electronic viewfinder, made it very easy and I found that I was getting the pictures that I wanted and I really didn't miss anything I was trying to get. I try to get the best light possible so I get up very early in the morning. I'm often up before sunrise so I can get on location and start shooting because if I'm shooting black and white I love the shadows coming across the ground and across people's faces and bodies from the sun. If I'm shooting colour, I like the warmness of the light that comes in that early morning light. The same for the evening. If I'm working a late evening, I will look for that warm light on people's faces or bodies or the shadows that cut across the ground. And I find you get much more interesting pictures from my perspective and the way I like to work with the early morning or the late evening light. Light is, again I would say, one of the most important things about taking photographs. People don't look at the light enough. Look at the light on people's faces. Look where it falls. Look at the direction it comes from. Very important lesson. Approaching people is very important because how you approach people is how you're going to get the pictures or if you're going to get the pictures. So you have to be very gentle. Don't be aggressive. Don't push away. Just watch what's going on in any situation. Smile at people, nod at people, point to the camera, and if they shake their head, walk away. If they allow you to get closer, come closer. In fact, I go so close um, that I get pictures very tight because I use wide-angle lenses. And I've been photographing Tai Chi in the Lumpini Park. I got so close to one woman while she was doing Tai Chi that her hands were just reaching out on each side of the frame and her face is in the middle. But she thought it was a great experience, she enjoyed it, and we both laughed afterwards.
Argentina, Buenos Aires, el puerto de Santa María del Guanaire. 